people in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. Will you give me my joy? Oh, people have to know. I need my joy. You're wicked and selfish and I hate you. No. Got to find a mood booth. Were they eating charcoal? How hungry were they? You all right, Miss Bing? Might want to top up if, if I ain't rude to say so. Miss Bing, there's going to be a fair. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Move along, please. Nothing to worry about. Everything's in order. Nothing to worry about. How long has there been a plague in the streets? Oh, hello, Miss Bing. Not nothing to worry about. Everything is tip top. And hoard food, Mrs. M. Wouldn't want people thinking you're a downer, innit? There's got to be a mood booth somewhere. My stomach hurts so. Did you eat something rotten? I haven't eaten at all. Oh, well, that's normal then. Folks wouldn't just sit there and let me natter on. I feel like I could tell you anything. You're priceless, you know that? No one can spin a yarn like you. Go on, tell me another. I'll take my joy and forget this ever happened. Oh, lovely! <gasps> um, Miss Ping, there isn't anybody in there. What are we doing? You can 
utilize a facility. What are we doing here? <laughs> Taking our joy, I hope. Good Lord, Mum. You, um, you might want to take a lot, eh? Wouldn't want to mistake you for a towner, eh? I... I, I can't oh. take my joy. I have to... Sweet Jesus. Keep a clear head. You are. You've got downer. You best come with me, Mum. Miss Peggy's a downer! 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 She's a downer! I am on joy. It's an experimental formula. I need to get out of here. I can't fight them all. They won't listen. They won't stop coming. We need to get out. This evening, trying to draw you into a conversation about long ago events. We are or trying even trying to, to convince you that his life you, is not happy. Or even that your life is not happy. <laughs> Don't be fooled. The moment you realize you're talking to Adana, you should stop listening to him right away. He needs help. And listening to him won't help anyone. Try this easy test. Are you having a conversation that's bringing you down? Then one of the people who's talking to you is a downer. Or if None of them is a downer, and they all seem as happy as can be. There she is! I can't believe I'm hiding from the police. Are you <gasps> running from the authorities? Not now, Mother, please. You've shut me out of your thoughts for so many years. I can't, I just can't. With sharp black beaks, and all they do all day is go caw, caw, caw. Why are there chickens on my neighbor's roof? I've never noticed them there before. <laughs> Dear Miss Dix, I think it's likely that those are not chickens at all, but rather I think they might be crows. Crows are blackbirds that sit on roof box and rooftops rather than caw. Now they may have noticed that you're not stirring from your bed and they're there trying to keep you company while you recover. That's sweet of them, eh? I'm a little bit worried about that open window of yours. You don't want to catch a cold, eh, from the drought? Bon voyage! Did they commit suicide? Invited from Cedric Tullet's Bowfield Park. He up the chat. This morning I was cleaning up my house, and I came across a box of village I am pretty sure they're fine. They there. took poison. My father was never in the war for the end So they must be fine. I'd like to know what they're for. All I remember is during the war was the And then we all took off our uniforms. That's all I can remember. So after I leave. I can't think with all these bobbies around me and all this death. I've got to get somewhere quiet. And now, it's once again time for I Hear You, 
the part of our show where Jack Worthy, that's me, answers your letters and questions about our life in Wellington. Come to help. Haven't you helped enough already? What then must we do? Please. Look, I'm throwing up and everything's horrible. I'm... If I just took my joy, it would all go back to bright and lovely. And I can hardly stop you. I'm only an uncomfortable memory. But I can't. I have to keep a clear head till I can tell Father what's going on out there. Has Father changed very much since we lived in the palace? Because he was always excruciatingly well informed about what was going on then. He doesn't know this. He can't. If he knew, he would fix it. Yes, well, it's lovely that you're thinking of your mother again. One hates to be forgotten, even if I'm in a faraway country and, for all you know, dead for years. He's probably at the Victory Memorial Camp. I can walk there on the underground tracks. Bug. To what do I owe the pleasure? I ran into Ollie Starkey. Good Lord, are you all right? He thinks the town is running out of food and we're all going to die. He, he always did have a keen sense of drama. You know he used to be a song and dance man. People are eating charcoal, Daddy. And there's a plague in the village. Well, you might have told me you were planning to go off your joy. Couldn't we give them all blackberry? They could make plants, plant vegetables... Even start the trade over the bridge again. They don't even know they're starving. Sally Boyle can barely make enough blackberry for the bobbies. But don't you worry. Your man, Dr. Verloc, is working on a treatment that will put everyone back on the right track. So we just... wait. We can't do nothing. Nothing is exactly what we must do. If our people realise they're running out of food, they'll kill each other for the last box of V-meat. Doing your duty isn't always pretty. You don't always get a bright, shiny medal. But a few people on top doing their duty, us, is the only thing that keeps us from savagery. What can I do? Let me help. You have such a keen sense of duty. Yes, help. Organise a Simon Says competition. Keep them distracted until your man comes through. He will come through, won't he? Yes. Father. But for God's sake, go back on your joy. You'll only complicate things. I suppose I'd better check on Dr. Verloc. Make sure he really is close to a solution.
Bloody well taking the underground right back to those bobbies. Jerry rigging these walkways.
one clearly sees the superiority of Western civilization. Spare me your revolutionary rhetoric. That's what landed you in jail. What landed me in jail was refusing to accept the unacceptable. Miss Bing, come to keep us on our toes, eh? Don't worry, we all know about the imposter what caused the ruckus for the move, boo. Shouldn't have hit him so hard. We're supposed to leave something for the doctors to rehabilitate. Well, he did try to stab you. He did? Oh, yes, right. Yes, he did. Very naughty, that one. Bing went full downer. Nah, nah, that was a misidentification. The general straightened it all out. You see, they've been coming for months. I'd send them off, but they so fancy the queuing. than strawberry. I hope it is. I'm so excited to try the coconut. They're gonna bring out a coconut soon, aren't they? Now that you're here, 
My brother had one of those iffy batches. I hope coconut cures him. This is Victoria Bing. Let me in, please. I need to speak to Dr. Verloc. Ah, oh, Miss Bing. Uh, I wouldn't quite enter the premises at the moment, ma'am. Why not? Well, as it happens, uh, there's a rather intensive uh, beautification procedure underway. Uh, you really wouldn't believe how beautificated the facility's looking. Why would that... Oh. Oh, dear. Was getting more and more beautificated in there by the minute. But I really do have urgent business with Dr. Verloc. All right, ma'am. As the Chinese say, don't say I didn't warn you. Right as rain, right as rain. Feeling all right there, eh, Miss Bing? I just received a most peculiar pronunciamento about an altercation at a mood booth. Executive committee business. Oh, well that's all right then, ma'am. Sorry to bother. Miss Bing, this uh, uh, ain't no place for, for a lady at the moment, Mum. They, they, they've gone completely mental in there. I'm here to speak with Dr. Verloc. The workers are um, a, a tad cross with Dr. V, Miss Bing. Uh, he's barricaded himself up in his office and he won't come out until we give him the all clear. Your very own uprising. Can you get it sorted? Not to worry, ma'am. We'll put down these troublemakers uh, as soon as we can get in. They've uh, cut the power. Now listen, this labour action is important. We ain't striking for a nice hot lunch. Maybe they'll all be too distracted by their little riot to see me slip through we there. We are trying to do our job, and we can't. The girls who are in charge have gone completely off their trolley. Dr. B's failure to ensure the joy supply strikes at the very heart of our civilization. These are the times that try men's souls. They are, yes, also women's souls too, I know. And we all have to hang together. If any doctors are listening in, this is no time for partisan bickering. There's only one person who ever made the train run on time here at Hayworth. We've still got the upper hand, lads. Our shop steward's got the key card, and the only way they're getting on the floor is through him. I'd like to see him try and take it away from him. Oh. Well, he's a bruiser, isn't he? Glad he's on our side.
on the doors, lads. Nobody in or out. And nobody disturbs my siesta. No wonder Verloc's locked himself away. With that brute skulking around. If I can get the power back on, the Bobbies will get things sorted. Then maybe Tony Verloc will come out of hiding. They certainly don't have faith in Verloc. Maybe I shouldn't have trusted him. trolley with all these chemicals lying around you'll light up the whole factory where are you gonna pry him out of his office then send a bouquet we ought to just bring back miss Boyle and get this operation back on its feet
One power switch, one to go. Very, very, very far down indeed. When all this is done, Tony Verloc and I are going to have a little chat about management principles.
You stay out of this, Miss Bing! Attention! Attention! The constabulary is pleased to report that the beautification efforts hereforto taking place on these air premises have concluded satisfactorily. You may resume your regular course of workday activities. Off you go. No need to thank us. Miss Bing! It's been too long. You seem to be having a bit of a mutiny. <laughs> oh, they do that. Not to worry, everything is very well in hand. Very promising lines of research. All sorts of... I hope they haven't had one of your bad batches. Oh, you're rather well informed. I can't just think faster, Miss Bing. I work until every thought is rubbish, and then I try to sleep. If... if I had Sally Boyle back... I seriously doubt my father would return her to you. I swear, I am this close to a permanent solution. But even if it doesn't work, at some point, you know, we'll be down to a sustainable population. That certainly is a permanent solution. There's no food coming over the bridge, and we're not growing any. So how many of us are sustainable, Tony? You seem a bit... off. You know, a bit sad. He wants to lock you up. I've got a lovely pygmy. Tony, I'm not someone you can throw into a cell like poor Mad Harry. Yes. Please, go back and tell the executive committee I'll have a brilliant new formula presently. He won't ever have a solution, will he? Didn't you hear him? When enough people die, the rest will have food. Oh, you've got to get people off these ridiculous pills. I'll never convince father of that. Oh, forget your damn father. It's a miracle he hasn't already run for the hills. He's just lost hope. Everyone's let him down. You can't lead if no one will follow. I have to prove to him that people will be reasonable once they come off their joy. 
But they won't do it willingly. Some of your father's soldiers became addicted to opium. Punishing them was no use. So he locked them up until they weren't addicted anymore. Yes. I could cut off the joy to the whole island. All I have to do is shut down its allocator hub. Then father will see people can come to their senses. One island? Huh. I have never found half measures to be useful. They only make the oppressor angry. That's the attitude that got you sent to prison. That's the attitude that got me a country. What have you got? Miss Bing, Dr. V would like you to come back. It's the water system. Those old pipes are contaminating the joy, you see. He's got some blueprints to show you. Some other time, perhaps. We won't take no for an answer. Stop her! Stop Miss Bing! Dark. The Bobbies won't care whose daughter I am if I'm breaking curfew. I'd be more worried about the doctors. That man is desperate. He'll send every man he's got.
little bit. I love how we're all on a diet. I know. Everyone used to be so fat. It's unhealthy, you know? I know. And always the same reason. Confirm that you're not conveying any uh, contraband. You already cleaned me out, Frankie. I'm as hungry as you are.
I'm so looking forward to the Battle of Flowers. Aren't you? I learned a new patty cake routine. Do you want to try it? Wait, I forgot to tell you the punchline. Hold on, you're not Harry. <laughs> Father McCartney preaches such thoughtful sermons. I wish he was Anglican. Lovely day for it. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb buried in her garden. Lucky it didn't blow her up.
pill allocator ought to be on the other side of that canal. What's that he's got there then? Some sort of toy? To think. He used to be the head of counterintelligence. <laughs> you never know who'll go down the next. Might be you. Might be me. Ooh, I need to go spend a penny. Then we can book him proper. That's Johnny Bolton. I thought he'd run off to the garden district. He's got some sort of gun. Calling Central. Ah, come in, Central. Special Agent Alton. I've been captured by the enemy. Goodbye.
I can't believe we built an elaborate system of pipes to allocate pills to the mood booths. Whose idea was that? I hope not mine. Once you destroy this allocator, then they will be willing to listen to reason, once they've calmed down. You have such a touching faith in the common Englishman.
What are you doing now? This is the third booth we've tried. They're never empty. How can they be empty? I'm starting to feel rather down. Oh, I don't like this. Not at all. Hold on now. There's joy in the water pipes. Isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Let's run home and make a nice cup of tea. There's joy in the water. You really thought of everything, didn't you? Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. Oh, there was another riot this morning. A couple wouldn't stop talking about how they missed their little darlings and why haven't the Russians sent them back? <laughs> they should take their joy. Nobody likes a downer. <laughs> you can't just wrap a pill in bacon and expect they'll swallow it. They're not dogs. Put it in their tea then. What do you mean? Dose the sugar cubes? Dose the water supply. Everyone drinks tea. You don't even have to tell them at first. That is rather audacious, isn't it? One must do one's duty. Even when it isn't pretty. Isn't that what you always say? Then I have to stop the joy from coming through the pipes, too. I have to smash the water treatment plant. And all that accomplishes is cutting off the happy drugs to one island? When they put you in charge of things, you don't have the luxury of idealism, Mother. You have to weigh how much you're going to hurt people. Do you? Big pardon, Mom, but the street cleaners are having a bit of a catabolism. I can't 
wait to see how they fixed up Lud's home. Does it occur to no one? I suppose they remind people they're hungry.
Dix of Monmouth Place. Dear Uncle Jack, I haven't been feeling entirely well these past few days. I feel rather tired and it's hard to get out of bed. 
So I asked my husband to get this letter to you. Oh dear, well, this isn't going to be a medical question. I've already called the doctor's once today. Ah, no, it isn't. Um, I've noticed an odd thing. On the roof across from my bedroom, I've noticed an awful lot of chickens. They just fly up there and watch me through my open window. The peculiar thing is, they're all black with sharp black beaks. And all they do all day is go caw, caw, caw. Why are those chickens on my neighbor's roof? I've never noticed them before. Dear Miss Dix, I think it's likely that those are not chickens at all, but rather I think they're Sure, they're my military medals because my father was never in the war because he had a bit of a limp. So they must be mine. I'd like to know what they're for. All I remember during the war was. And then we all took off our uniforms. That's all I can remember. How could I be the one?
Dear Uncle Jack, I haven't been feeling entirely well these past few days. I feel rather tired and it's hard to get out of bed. So I asked my husband.
Obviously, the next target. But to have it be you. They're all going to die if they don't stop taking joy. You've anesthetized a bleeding patient. Doctors, this woman needs treatment. Be firm. Oh! <laughs> 
That should cut the supply. Damn it! Maybe I can short circuit that conductor. I hope your plan works. It won't be easy for them. But once they come to their senses, they'll thank me. You don't think they'll hold a grudge? Some people hold grudges forever. No, they... Oh, you mean me. I'm doing this for them. You didn't spy for the independence movement for me. But I did. Get home, Vicky. You don't want to be their scapegoat. Even if I'm guilty. to go through what I went through. Is that how I see it? Ah! She, she killed the choice 
some help. It's Miss Bing. Understand. I hope. What have I done? Half measures. Oh, Miss B. What have you done? Blowing up the water treatment plant? Putting everyone off their joy? You know how many citizens we had to put down before the doctors got things sorted? I had to do something. Oh, and this was something. You know how many people starved to death in the past month? Do you want to know what the difference is between us lads and posh folk like you? We don't think we know better than everybody else. I've mucked it up, and now I'll die in prison. You did a brave thing. That's more than your father's done. Brilliant! I can sit in prison congratulating myself how brave I was. Isn't that what you did after Father had you arrested? Get some sleep. I think it's time you remember. Vicky. Good morning, Mummy. I was so worried your father wouldn't let you come. I'm leaving. For England. Tomorrow. Daddy is taking me home. That can't happen. His Highness, my father... Why did you do it, Mummy? Some things you know you must do, even though you hate to do them. I hope you're never faced with such a choice. Why couldn't you be a mother? Instead of a revolutionary and a bloody traitor. I wanted to give you a country. I don't want your stupid country! You let me hate you, didn't you? So I could get on with father. Mummy? The door is open. Were we eating leaves? Can we please have something to eat? Miss Bing? Go on then. Interrogate me. I won't give an inch. I've had top secret training. Bolton, I'm trying to escape this place. Burlock's turned on you too? <laughs> Why didn't you listen to me? Counterintelligence was my job! Fine. I made a bit of a mess. Now why can't you be useful and tell me how I can fix it? You can't fix it! Haven't you figured that out yet? 
You need to send an agent into Dr. Burlock's lair and blow it up. I, I can't do that. Oi! You down there! Pipe down! I have the blueprints. They're in my top, top, top secret hideout in the square. In the haberdasher's attic. Right behind the neon sign. I know exactly where to place the explosives. Where would I get explosives? Well, I... Uh, um... There might be a few around your house. <laughs> if the timer hasn't gone off yet. <laughs> what time is it? That's it. Time to crack some eggs. Finish my mission. Save the city. get out of here without a pair of wings or my whip another shift change oh well, I don't mind not getting off for an hour early but where's Burn Jones don't flog a gift horse in the bath go out and get some kick It's not a place to, to poke our snoops in, but oh, I could be taking a butcher to get things missed. How is the honoured?
I suppose children must burn their hands before they can believe that stoves are hot. The cell door... I hope you'll be sensible from now on. I have only so many strings I can pull. I'm so sorry, Father. I thought people would come to their senses. Well, I hope you learned your lesson. Listen, I have a safe house. Provisions for a year, invisible from the street. We'll ride out the storm there. You've been stockpiling food. People are starving! We have a duty. Our duty now is, is, is to rescue what we can. Salvage something for this whole rotten mess. Even if it's only two or, or three people. Someone has to save them. I'm getting my boat working. If I can get to Ireland... His duty is to save himself. I have to go. Duty insists. Duty's not always pretty. Duty's not always pretty. You don't always get a bright, shiny medal. You're deserting. Well, you obviously can't show your face until people forget. Coward! Too many bobbies on the ground. Safer to take the rooftops. What then must we do? Before Brahma can create a new universe, Shiva must destroy the old one. You saw what happened! One half of the town will kill the other half! I might as well be murdering them myself! Would you rather murder half the town, or let all of them commit suicide by starvation? 
Because those are your choices. They won't see it that way. They'll hate me. Oh, yes. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. But God help me. I can do no other. Let's see if Johnny's managed to blow up my house. Stabbery is out in force. Strange to be on their bad side. How on earth did a diner get free meat? Oh! <laughs> 
I'll never live here again. Not sure I deserve to either. It's Indian tradition, isn't it? Children go with a father in a divorce. Not to England, they don't. Well, Vicky agreed. Yes, you've taught her weakness. Anyway, you can't stop me. I think His Highness, my father certainly can stop me. You're an unfit mother. How? It is my sad duty to inform you that you are to be arrested for, for spying for the Indian independence movement. No, as if you haven't known that for years. Why do you want to take her to England? Because, because she's mine. And I'm leaving you. No. You were such a dashing lieutenant. Now, you're just a tragic, dull bureaucrat. No. Vicky, have you been spying on us? Darling, why don't you go off and play? I need to call your father some rather nasty names. The man power this is. Her own home is the last place a clever clogs like Miss Bing would run to. Get a bright shiny metal, Johnny. But you deserve one. 
Now I just need the plans from your safe house. Johnny's plans are up there in the haberdasher's attic, cleverly hidden behind that gigantic bright neon sign. Hey, what are you doing there? You can take your... Johnny Bolton was doing the only sensible thing while I sipped tea and popped pills.
Miss Bing is running amok in this factory. Doctor! <laughs>
thing that's important, isn't it? I always did wonder if you'd end up a downer yourself. Has it occurred to you that the problem all this time might be you? Do you think they'll remember you as a... become death, destroyer of worlds. Where is everyone? Have they all gone? What's left for them, besides unhappy memories?
Oh, look. It's Miss Bing. Lovely day for it, Miss Bing. We know what you did. I did what had to be done. What gives you the right? What gives you the right? You were all going to starve to death. My brother did die. The bobbies hit him a little too hard. You lot told us everything was fine. You told us to pretend it was. We all wanted to pretend. Don't you remember? We're all leaving. There's nothing left here. You can go wherever you like. Just not with us. But I saved them. They may never forgive you for that. What else could I have done? You don't always get a bright, shiny medal for doing your duty. What did you say? That's what I always used to tell your father. Come back to India, Vicky. You miss me. And I'm probably still alive. Goodbye, Mother. I hope you'll be proud of me.
Now everything's better under the sun Talk in the dark Under your smile Don't be afraid All you gotta do is run Cause when we were young We just a child Strange.